this is the review on the Daisy Powerline 5501 as you can see in my hand my name is Paul uh, this is my first video um, and I figured I'd call the channel replica gun reviews um, I've been getting into air guns a lot lately and um, I figured I started reviewing them and on top of reviews I figured at the ends of at the end of each one of my videos that I would uh, shoot everyday objects just to show you what happens when you shoot them like things like phones uh, glasses of different strengths textures you know all different types of things and any uh, suggestions are always welcome but yeah again so this is Paul for replica gun reviews and this is a Daisy Powerline 5501 um, this gun came on Amazon for I think it was 69 bucks it was pretty cheap um, for you know for uh, a pretty good gun it, it, it weighs a one pound exactly it has a max muzzle velocity I believe of 430 pounds or 430 feet per second pardon me um, it's fully blowback the slide is metal the uh, frame is metal, the trigger guard is metal, the trigger is metal, the casing, you know, the grip is polymer. The magazine is one of those dropout uh, clip mags like that, this plastic. Um, one thing I wanted to point out that I didn't realize until the other day is with these magazines that they do come apart so if you drop it there's a chance that it could fall apart and they are a hassle to get back together. Um, another thing I wanted to really point out, because I had to buy this gun twice because I had broken the first one on my own, is that, as you can see, this is a safety here. This is the slide lock, and this is the decocker. As you can see, that red line in the back indicates that it is cocked. There's no CO2 or BBs in this gun, and it's on safety, so... But it's still cocked. When you push this forward slightly or when there's BBs in it anyway, it decocks and you can see that red line and that little metal piece is attached to go forward. Um, one thing I wanted to point out with that though, so you don't make the same mistake that I did, is that when I first got this, as you can see, the safety is like a normal switch. You can even hear the click back and forth. It's like one of those type of buttons or switches. So. What I did is I assumed that the decocker would be the same, and it's not. All you have to do is literally push it up slightly. I don't know if you can see that slight movement. Let me just uh, focus a little. But it's very slight. That's it. That's all it takes to decock it. So when I had bought this, I thought maybe it was stuck, and it wasn't just going forward all the way. So I had, like, really forced this thing. So now with my old one I have to cock it each time just to get it to stay cocked so for every BB I fire I have to rack the slide um, the decocker is broken on it the slightest vibration decocks it um, so every time a BB is fired out of it the vibration from the blowback action I guess just decocks it um, I've had this one now for about three four months and I've had not had any issues with it whatsoever it's quite awesome um, I actually like this one I just ordered another Daisy um, I can't remember the model name but it was even cheaper so uh, I'm gonna do a review on that one as well um, I have other air guns from Umarex, Crossman um, you know and then Daisy actually those are the only three um, that I'll do reviews on and then I'll do shooting tests with um, but my idea behind doing shooting tests with everyday objects like phones and computers and glass and stuff is so that you can get an idea of what happens if you accidentally shoot one of these things or if you plan on shooting something and maybe you think it won't do damage or, you know, just to give you a general idea as to why you shouldn't shoot anything like this in your house even though it's a BB gun because it can do some damage um, especially to a person don't shoot ever shoot a person with this unless you absolutely have to like if it's your last resort 
you know, someone's standing over you with a knife and you have no way of protecting yourself and you just happen to have a loaded BB gun on you, I'd say go for it. But other than that, um, I'd say, you know, make sure you're always safe with these. Treat them as if they were real guns, even when they're empty. You know, if there's CO2 in here, you know, you never know. Accidents happen. Just always treat it like it's a real gun. Um, I'm doing this with one hand, uh, so it's kind of difficult. In the future, I'll have a better camera set up as my videos progress. Um, I don't have anybody here. My girlfriend's out, um, so I'm just left with my uh, cats, my dog, Lady, my little guy, Sonny. Um, not sure where Apollo is. I have another cat, but he's uh, somewhere around, laying around, being lazy. Anyway, um, yeah, so this is the Daisy Powerline 5501. Um, obviously, it comes with uh, their, uh, you know, standard uh, markings or etchings. Um, it's got its uh, warnings here to come standard, you know, it may cause death or injury it's not a toy because it isn't um uh speaking of i don't know why it just made me think of that one thing i wanted to mention and i'll probably repeat throughout my videos you know to emphasize because i didn't do it at first um is although they are bb guns i would suggest well not suggest i would say if you're gonna buy a bb gun take the time and buy some pellet gun oil some RWS uh, chamber oil, something, you know, and keep your air guns lubricated. Um, put a little Pelagon oil on top of the CO2 canisters, um, any metal on metal parts, you know, oil them up well, you know, just keep them in good condition. Whoop, magazine just came out. But that's actually good. So now I can show you how you load the CO2 into this thing. So you just screw, unscrew this so that the CO2 canister can fit and you take off this side only stick the CO2 in there and then you screw this back up and this just literally clips on into place and then the magazine let's see if I can get this with one hand just uh, fits right in okay guys sorry for the cut in but I wanted to also show you how to load this thing and then unload it so right here as you saw previously I kept accidentally hitting it but is the mag release so if you just press on that it releases the magazine and then you get a 15 round dropout plastic clip mag um, that little hole right there oh, let's see if I can get it to zoom in there you go right there is where you load the BBs um, it's got a spring in there which you can't see right now um, well there you go a little bit you can see it um, and then what you do is you just pull down on the spring all the way down and, and then it locks into place right there and then what you do is you have to actually hold this thing upside down I'll put it down for a second Grab some BBs. And then you hold it upside down. And then you just simply drop them in. See if I can do this while staring through a camera. And then you do that for the whole 15. So that's 2, 3, 4, 5, 4, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Goes back. Oops, lost one. And then, while still holding it upside down, you release this little clip, which you shouldn't really always just like release it and let it smash against the BBs. I like to release them slowly and then let it go down and it holds the BBs in place from coming out. Um, and then you load it back up into the BB gun and you're ready to go. Um, if you want to unload them, you do exactly the opposite. You hold it upside down again. You uh, 
pull the little BB flower up so that the spring is back and you catch it and then you have to shake them out basically out into your hand and they all just come out of the hole like that yep and that's it and then you're good to go um, I would try to rack the slide for you with one hand but I don't think that's gonna work very well um, so I have a stand here, it's just not very tall, so I wasn't happy with like the angle that I was getting the gun at because you all want to see the gun on my house. Um, so um, anyways, this is a really awesome gun, I love this thing. Um, it's pretty powerful, like last night I shot a phone, which will be in the end of the video, um, I shot some classes. Um, and again, if you have any suggestions as to what I should shoot or what you would like to see me shoot, please, please comment them and let me know because I am totally down. Um, I have all the safety precautions set up. You know, I have a little, uh, area to shoot things in that won't harm anything or anything around me. Um, so yeah, anything that you think is safe to shoot, I'm not going to shoot anything flammable or anything that's going to explode, obviously, you know, I mean, I'm talking about like a TV or, you know, anything, like it's just an, any household object or whatever you can think of, you know, if you want me to try penetration, penetration testing on any of these BB guns that I review, uh, feel free to comment. And uh, if you like these videos, uh, please leave a like. Um, I honestly, you know, I do these videos for fun. Um, I thought it would be a cool idea. Um, this is my first time ever engaging social media, really. So uh, let me know how I'm doing. Um, I was really nervous. It took me a while to make this first video because I was so hesitant. Um, but um, anyways, uh, this is Paul, and this is the Daisy Powerline 5501. And then you'll see after this that uh, I have shot a few things and uh, I hope you enjoy what you see and I'll see you in the next one Whoa, did you just like shot the freaking uh, wrapping off of it?
Legal. Okay everybody, so that was the review and some shooting tests on the Powerline 5501, or shall I say the Daisy Powerline 5501. Um, I hope you enjoyed what you saw, and again, you know, for 67 bucks, I would say it's worth the money. Uh, just keep it oiled and keep it safe and you should be fine with this thing, you know, I haven't had any issues with it. And um, before I go, I wanted to show you really quick um, some of the other guns that I plan on reviewing. Um, I have them laid out here. Um, hopefully, we get this a little clearer. Um, I have a few to go. Um, and I'll be getting more in the future as I go on. So, anyways, that was the review for the Daisy Powerline 5501. Um, I think it's a good buy, and I'll see you in the next review. Thanks a lot.